Hey, I'm Riley, and this is a bit of a look into what I've been working on here at Raygun lately. So following our success with the AI Air Resolution product, we've been looking into how agentic workflows can both help our developer experience and also the customer experience. Internally, we've been using Claude, and that's been going really well, and there's been some exciting announcements that they've been announcing, such as the Model Context Protocol. And this is basically what the language server protocol did for the programming languages, but for AI. Here are a couple of ways I found use of our Raygun MCP server. So I've already prepared a prompt here, which is I'm having trouble understanding my real user monitoring in my demo application. Could you give me an uh, understanding on my metrics and where I need to improve them? Here, Claude is generating a plan and figuring out what it has access to. In this case, it's gonna try and get access to my applications so it can go and fetch the applications to figure out which one it needs to properly use. Here, I'm uh, allowing explicitly that it can use the list of applications. And this is really important for just being in control of your own data. So now it's generating a analysis of my data and I'm just allowing it again because it needs to get the metrics for it. Now that Claude has got the data, it can generate a proper analysis looking into my load times, my core web vitals, and see where exactly are the pain points and what I can do to improve. Yeah, so uh, on each core web vital, Claude has given a summary of what it is and also what needs to be improved there. Uh, it's given some recommendations on like removing uh, large asset sizes and other things that can really help. Uh, improve the pain points for your application. So I've prepared another prompt here where I'm concerned that I have some regressions in my application for one of my demo apps. And we're trying to see if there's any regressions since the last deployment. Again, Claude asked for my permission to get access to the data before it proceeds. And now that it's figured out what application I'm using, it can then get the error groups for the application and the deployments. Again, ask for permission just to make sure I'm okay with everything that's going on here. Here we can see there are some errors, so those are things I will need to look into since there has been some regressions or recurrences since my last deployment. So to get this set up, visit Raygun's MCP repository. You'll then want to scroll down in our readme to find the snippet to put into Claude. You want to copy this, open up Claude desktop, and go to settings. You'll find the developer tab here. If you don't see this, you'll need to turn developer options on. You'll then want to click edit config and open this file here. This is when you paste in that thing we just copied. And here, you'd also like to put in your Raygun PAT token. If you don't know where to find this, go to our documentation and you'll find out there. You'll then want to quit Claude and restart it. Now it should all be set up. And if you want to verify that it works, click the plug icon and enlist your MCP servers. And there we are, Raygun servers installed. It's still early days of MCP, but we're really excited to already be integrating with this and seeing how far it can take us. Stay tuned for more updates to our MCP server and see you later.